All right, this is gonna be a big time inspiration video. If you're an independent hip hop artist, you're definitely gonna wanna watch this and you're gonna wanna stay to the end. So it's official. I am now finally, after 13 years of super hard work, full time with music. Now, what does that mean? When I say full time, that doesn't just mean that I bet on myself, right? Which I'm, I guess I am doing, but that's not all that that means. It doesn't just mean that I'm just deciding to go full time and not have a job off the strength of my faith in myself, right? It's not that. It's actually because I make more than enough money now to be able to support myself and invest into my business, my music business called Rapid Fire Music Academy and myself. This is a huge day. On July 30th, it was my last day working at the coffee shop. I worked at Rooted in Walnut Creek for six months and I love them and they're awesome. And at the same time, I had two side hustles, which I'm kind of still doing a little bit more for the love of the people I work with. But uh, everything's me, no job, it's all music now because I'm actually making a lot of money with music. This is gonna be a major inspo video for you guys because I mean, I'm an independent hip hop artist just like you watching this and I'm a self-producing artist as well. And you know, this journey has been long, 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 13 years, but it does feel like it went by like that. And I'm super pumped to like, just kind of share with you some inspiration and some structural things, actual like tangible things that have happened and kind of why those things happen. So I want this to be valuable, not just, you know, for me to inspire, but also for you. So man, the dopest part of it is, um, uh, actually going to share a little story with you. And, uh, I, I, I do have... I do have some documents here I want to I want to share because this is going to just be more inspiring. But, um, you know, when I started rapping, I was 17 years old. And I'm 29, so about 2011. So going on 13, 14 years, and you know, I always knew I was going to be able to make a full time income with music, and I always knew I was going to build a business, and I also knew that I wasn't going to do the conventional route. About five years ago, six years ago was when I was like, you know. I don't think I'm going to do this stuff conventionally. I don't think I'm going to do the regular artist route. I don't like it. I don't see it as it just doesn't make sense to me the way that most artists make money with CDs, shirts, merch, touring. It's funny because I'm actually wearing one of my boy's shirts who's a rapper, Lunchbox. So shout out to him. But I just knew I was like, I know I'm not going to do the conventional thing that most artists do. I knew I was going to do something different. And uh, it started with learning how to produce my own music, which I got the idea obviously from Russ who is one of my biggest inspirations. And I saw what he did and I was like, you know, I'm gonna do what he did, but I'm also gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do a little differently. And so I started reading the book Dotcom Secrets by Russell Brunson and Expert Secrets. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna put together some kind of program to help people because this seems fun. It seems like something I could definitely do really well. And five years later, I became pretty like, I think I'm pretty good at producing my own music. And um, because I've been able to produce my own music, I've been able to market my music a lot more effectively, grow a fan base and grow my income because now I teach artists how to produce their own music, which if you're interested, you can book a call with me below and I'll show you how to do that. So really cool. This past weekend was a lot for me. Um, collected more cash than I've ever collected in my business in one month. That happened and I took my mom, my dad and my wife out to eat at this really nice Peruvian restaurant called Limon in downtown Walnut Creek. That was lit. Took them out. And then the next night, my mom's birthday was the 31st. So I took my I took my mom, my dad, and our family friends, and obviously, you know, my wife and my aunt. We all went out to dinner. That was lit. I picked up the tab. Um, my my one of my uh, family friends did chip in a little, but mostly it was me who picked up the tab, and it was honestly no problem to do so. Yesterday, took my mom out. Land's End was super lit, had a birthday with her. Then obviously my wife, my dad, me and my mom went out to dinner and uh, that was super dope as well. And uh, just been honestly celebrating life. But my mom and I went on this hike and then on the way from the hike to the restaurant, we were passing by my old high school that I went to high school in ninth grade. So I went to a private Jewish high school in ninth grade called Jewish Community High School. And then uh, that's where I met my brother Gabe. But after that, I transferred and left and went to public school. But in that year, D's and F's, and I've got the proof here to show it to you. But I was like, mom, we need to go by the school. Like I need to go look at it. So I went, I looked at it and I had been back there since I left, but it was just weird to go back there now at the place I'm at. <laughs> and uh, 
dude, it was dope. Like I was looking at it and I was just like, wow. You know, like it was that moment of like one of those real like full circle moments where I'm like, I run my life. I run the world that I live in. I do me. I did it myself. I did it the way I knew I'd be able to do it. And I looked at it and I was like, damn, like all those people, the teachers who doubted me, the people who gave, you know, I mean, I earned my grades, but those, those, those teachers, I'm going to read some of these notes. Um, I think it's going to be really fun to read some of these and look at these grades. Um, (laughs) yeah, this is going to be fun, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, it was just dope to like be able to look back and be like, damn, I'm, I'm out here really getting money. I'm probably making more money than all those teachers who doubted me. Um, uh, might even be making more than all of them combined, to be honest with you. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty dope, pretty dope to see. And just remembering those times of when I like never doubted myself, but had all that doubt from them. And so just real quick, going to show you the grades here. There we go. Look at those grades. <laughs> <laughs> this is my ninth grade, both semesters. This is English. Yeah, my English teacher hated me. I failed English. Carrie Rubin, my English teacher fucking hated me. I failed this class. She's trying to be nice in some of this shit, but affecting your progress is your lack of attention in class. While you're starting to take more responsibility for your actions, it's still hard for you to pay attention. Yeah, because you sucked and the class was boring. It seems as though you're more consumed with making jokes and getting the class to pay attention to you. 100%. For you to grow as a student and turn your grade around, this behavior is going to have to change. I look forward to helping you work on your skills. Fuck you. You're a liar. Yeah, she, she, she's full of shit. She loved giving me an F. She yelled at me multiple times. Did not perform well this quarter due to a lack of focus in class, a desire to crack jokes. It's two teachers. Rather than understand the material, a failure to complete all assignments and poor performance on his tests. Things really didn't change much. This is another class. Things didn't really change much from the quarter point. You did a bit of extra work and earned a C minus. Your academic performance in my class is so poor that I don't understand what is going on. (laughs) It's clear that you don't work on the material at home. You're darn right I didn't work on material at home because it was stupid. He hasn't managed to get his work to me on time. He rushes through tests and quizzes. I remember this shit. Algebra. What was that teacher's name? Fucking she hated me too. Michelle Price, that was her name. I was trying to think of it. She hated me. (laughs) As for homework, well, Lee, let's just say that I hope it improves. (laughs) Oh, that's so tight. Man, I'm seeing notes that my parents even made to me. That was where it was tough because my parents really, really struggled. They struggled with this more than I did. I, I, I didn't give a shit. I was like, fuck all this. Because I, I always knew I always knew that school was dumb. And I always knew that I didn't need to pay attention in these classes because I knew it wasn't important. And uh, these past 13 years, I've honestly just been trying to prove myself right. I, I'm not really that concerned with proving them wrong because I already knew they were wrong because they're broke. But I've just been trying to prove myself right. And this last month, I did that. I mean, I've been doing that. But these last two months of June and July of 2023... Honestly, I did that. I proved myself right. I proved them wrong. Um, I even proved the music industry wrong because really I broke the music industry. I really don't do things conventionally. I don't do things the way everyone says. A lot of artists say, hey, leave the producing to the producers. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, hey, you need to grow on Spotify. You need to you need to get these types of numbers. You got to get signed to a record label. Just all this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Like, hey, leave the producing to the producers. Whatever, it's, it's all bullshit because I, I, I have, I don't do that well on Spotify and, but I do well where it counts, which is in the bank account and it's in the results to my clients. If you take a look, I get results for my clients. Like, you know, like I got Ryan B six weeks into this program. He's never made a beat before he started with the program. He never made a beat, had no music production skills, none of that stuff, nothing. And in six weeks has dropped 14 beats. Like he's made 14 beats in six weeks. Never, never did anything in music production before that. My boy Carlos. Carlos, again, no experience, no songs released, never did anything with music production. Two weeks into the program, drops his first beat. He's made three beats in two weeks and dropped one of them. Ange, she went from taking over three months to finish a song to to finishing three songs in eight weeks, start to finish, 
Um, one of them was for a client. Two of them was all her her voice, mixed, mastered, made the beat and everything. Then joined my rapid fire production sales accelerator. And in the first month of working with me, got seven production clients in the first month of working with me. These are real results. This is real talk. You know, this is the kid who 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 got C one C and the rest was D's and F's. You know, this is the kid who who got kicked off the I, I got kicked off the basketball team my freshman and my sophomore year because I didn't even get a 2.0. I got kicked off the basketball team twice because I didn't make grades. Academic probation. Summer school. I failed English my freshman year. Going into my sophomore year, I had to take summer school for English. This is no joke. And guess what? And and then in college, I I had a I had a semester in college where I got a 1.3. 1.3 GPA. That means like basically a D average, I think. And now I'm getting more money than all the teachers I've ever worked ever all the teachers. I don't think there's not one teacher that I've had that makes more money than me. That's not pooping on all my teachers because I had some great teachers. But like 80, 90% of the teachers I had sucked. And uh, it's lit now. And honestly, if you're watching this, I hope you're inspired by this. You can do this. Like I proved it. You can do this. You can make money in the music industry. You can make money as a musician. You can do this. You can go full-time with your music, not off the strength of just having faith in yourself and just betting on yourself, but actually from making enough money to be like, I actually don't need a job anymore. I actually don't need to work at a cash register anymore. I actually don't need to side hustle anymore. I make money from music. (laughs) You don't have to do it the way everyone says too. Like it doesn't have to be as an artist. Oh, I have to make enough money from touring and selling CDs and merch. It doesn't have to be that way. You can do alternative routes. So that you can break the music industry. So you don't have to be a slave from the music industry. Do it like me. If you're a musician, if you're an independent hip hop artist, it to me starts with learning how to produce your own music. If all you can do is write lyrics and record vocals and those are your only skills, it's going to be so, so difficult to make a living. But if you can make beats, arrange beats, mix, master, record your own vocals and drop songs consistently that are you... You have skills. You can produce for other artists. You can make just beats. You can ghost produce. You can mix, master. You can engineer recording. You can teach other people some producing tricks just like I've done. Um, You can sell custom packages for your production. There's a lot of things you can do. You don't have to just be limited to to just those things. You don't have to be. And if you want to, and like producing music's not that hard. You You can make beats, mix and master without knowing music theory without needing expensive equipment, and it doesn't need to take you years. In Rapid Fire Music Academy, you can see my clients get results super fast, but I actually guarantee results. So in 90 days, you're going to get two things. Number one, you're going to have at least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered, and engineered by you that you're excited to release. And number two, you're going to have all the skills you need to never need to buy beats or hire a producer or work with any producers for the rest of your career. And if both of those things aren't accomplished at the end of 90 days, I'll keep working with you for free until they're accomplished. You're guaranteed to get results. My clients get results. It's a no-brainer. So if you want to make music full-time, you got to start working on producing your own music. And if that's where you're at and you want to learn how to fully produce, and if maybe you're already fully producing, you think you are, you probably need to step up your quality and your speed. So one, things we, one of the things we teach in the program is high quantity of high quality. I know artists who have high quantity of music, but it sucks. Every song they put out is a five or a six out of 10. That doesn't do anything. You need to be putting out songs that are eight out of tens, nine out of tens. You can't really have misses and you just got to drop them. And I would say a consistent release schedule be any, anywhere from four to six weeks is great. Um, but like I haven't put out a song in two months and I made more money than I've ever made. So, you know, it just depends on what you've got working in your back end, but if you're trying to do it off the strength of the music, like, yeah, you got to drop at least once a month and they got to be bangers. So if that's where you're at, like, that's where it all starts. Even for me, like the only reason that my clients trust me is because I've dropped so many songs that are fully produced by me and people see. It doesn't matter if I've gotten Spotify numbers. They see, okay, he's dropping quality music, growing on social media. Dude obviously knows. Like people look and they go, okay, obviously this guy knows how to produce quality music. I'm going to trust him and that's how it goes. And so if you're somebody who wants to invest in themselves, then like click below and book a call with me. 
like book a call and let's work together. But here's the deal. If you're not ready to financially invest, if you don't have the, the resources, don't waste my time. Don't call just to get information. Don't call just to see what I'm about. Don't call just so you can hear the price and financially plan for two, three months down the road. Book the call when you're ready to pay up and invest in yourself. Book the call when you're ready to go. If you're not ready to go, don't book the call. Keep consuming my content. I'm going to be dropping two YouTube videos a week, hopefully for the rest of my life. So keep doing that. Keep consuming that. Follow me on Instagram, but don't don't book a call unless you're ready. And if you're ready to go, if you're like, dude, Lizzie, I'm ready to like, I'm honestly ready to freaking go. You know, I'm ready to make that low mid four figure investment. Then book the call, bring a form of payment. Like, let's get started. I'll show you how the program works and you're going to get results in three months. So, um, yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm super excited to uh, to work with you. I'm super excited to share with you some of the things I've learned and that my clients have learned. And I'm just super excited to keep this music thing going. So I appreciate you for watching this. Click below, book a call with me. And uh, hopefully I'll talk soon. I'll see you on the next video.